This factor is a separation between the shoulders and hips here. And then, so when you are here, the two lines are fairly parallel to each other. Yeah. So no X factor here. But once you pass this point, then shoulders are turning more than the hips. Yeah. So we have separation, so it's called X factor. So up to this point, up to this point perhaps, the X factor keeps increasing here. But then, you see the slope changes. Now in the transition phase here, between five and six here, it's almost a flat. So that means uh, no more increase in the X factor here. Okay. Because from the beginning, you turn the body using the upper body, you turned and you had a, a lot of separation here. Then once you, uh, you know, up, when you approach it to the end of the back swing, now everything is turning together. So it's not increasing okay. anymore. So suddenly the slope changes. Then when this happens, you have to do something in the downswing here. So uh, after you pass this uh, pelvis transition point, that means uh, now the pelvis will start rotating in the downward direction from this point on here. But the shoulders are rotating in the backward directions a bit more. So you have a little bit of increase in the X factor. So this increase is called the backswing X factor stretch. X factor stretch means it's an increase in the X factor okay. in, in certain phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is happening during the transition. So we can call it the transition uh, X factor stretch or backswing stretch. Okay. So during the backswing, you have a little bit of stretch. Then six is uh, at the top of uh, it's the top of the backswing. Then after six, you start the downswing motion. When the downswing starts, here, this is top of back swing. When the downs, downswing starts, then you expect a further increases here. Why? The pelvis is uh, rotating faster than the shoulders. Yes. They are rotating the same direction, but because the pelvis is rotating faster, so there's more separation. This is called downswing stretch. Yeah. Downswing expect a stretch. But when you have a large downswing stretch, that means that your back swing was poor. Okay. The back swing was uh, done poorly, so you have to create the, se the separation during the early part of downswing. Okay. But if you have enough separation during the back swing, using the momentum of the upper body, then you don't need to generate more, more separation okay. in the downswing because your body is already so just to go. Okay. But when the, in the back swing, you simply try to just lift this and then you don't really separate this actively. Then, once you start the downswing, pelvis will go faster and then try to pull with that your intention to try to increase more separation. Okay. So you are sort of wasting uh, in the early part of the downswing, uh, the, the wasting time in the early part of the downswing here. This is all because your back swing was not active enough. Okay. So separation starts early here, but it uh, plateaus here. So the, the main... Uh, Interest is the transition phase here, but in the transition phase, you don't have much increase in the X factor. Okay. Yeah. So here, when you have a continuous separation and then just the coming down here, that means the, the separation is continuously increasing and then decreasing here. Yeah. Then the muscles are, muscles are connecting the upper part of the trunk and the lower part of the trunk. They will stretch and then shorten continuously. This is called the stretchy shortening cycle. Okay. And that, that's the ideal way of uh, uh, using the muscles. So you have the continuous separation and then coming back here. So with that muscle gets longer and then immediately followed by a shortening here. Yeah. Without relaxation. That's called the stretchy shortening cycle. But um, you know, if, if the X factor plateaus here, that means no more separation. So uh, muscle is not stretching, but it just maintains the length here. And then when you try to start the downswing, it has to shorten. But uh, you know, by moving the pelvis faster than the shoulders, you try to elongate it a bit more. But you could actually easily elongate this uh, or increase the X factor easily in the backswing because um, if you have enough speed here, shoulder speed, 
the shoulder will keep moving, rotating. Okay. And then when you s uh, slow down the pelvis and then change the direction of the pelvis motion, while uh, sh shoulder keeps going, then you will automatically have uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 separation, yeah. right? Yeah. So that when you have active backswing and then when the shoulder keeps moving and then going into downswing, then automatically you have a good separation during the transition phase, yeah. not at the beginning of the downswing right. phase. 